Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Ignore my sweaty face, I've just done a workout. In today's video, I thought I'd invite you to come food shopping with me because I haven't done a food shop. I know this is gonna sound crazy in like two, three weeks. I've had a really bad patch. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you're my internet friends, I need to be honest. I've had a really bad patch of eating out all the time and not meal prepping. Not because I want to, but because the place I'm living in, if you haven't seen my moving in vlog, Oh my gosh, it's just horrible. And recently it's just been not very well kept and we're actually, everyone who lives there is complaining about it. It's just a state that the kitchen is literally unusable. Um, and I just, every time I walk into it, I just don't want to cook. I just don't like living there. I'm really tired of living there. So I'm currently looking for a new place. I'm tired of having no fridge space and all the rest of it. Um, but. I need to not complain, I need to get it together. So what I think I'm honestly gonna do is I'm gonna do a food shop, drive to my parents' house <laughs> and meal prep it um, before I come back. Like this quality of accommodation is just not okay for me anymore. And I feel like it's actually affecting my mental well-being now. <laughs> so I think it'll be worth the financial, um, it's not even a financial risk, it'll just be worth the money to, to move out. Anyway, I say all that to say, I just need a huge food shop, a huge healthy meal prep, and yeah. I thought you guys might like to come with me. If you do, let's go, because I'm boiling and I need to put the car cooler on, AC on, but it's really loud and you won't be able to hear me when I do, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that Sula. Sweaty upper lip roller. Let's go. But you've had a great bank. Some empty Tupperware. Yeah. Yeah. You know it, you know it. Hey, AJ, you got it going on, got it, girl. Okay, so tiny change of plan. In fact, it's not even a change of plan. I just think that I kind of want a coffee while I'm doing this. And McDonald's is literally right here. Oh, that's quite a queue though. It's quite a big queue in the drive-thru. Do you know what? That's not worth it. That's not worth it. Sorry, thanks. Ooh, yeah, no, okay. McDonald's is canceled. The queue is too big. And that, my friends, is how you stay healthy you have so little patience that you're not even willing to wait behind two cars to get a fatty coffee. I really wanted a frappuccino then, but I don't have one because I'm too impatient to queue. So straight to Tesco we go, my friends. God's plan. Oh! I can't do this on my own. Hey. Right then boys, let's go shopping. I have no list, I'm not gonna write a list because we all know what happens when I write a list. I forget that I wrote one and I don't stick to it anyway. So let's just follow our hearts. Let's follow our hearts. Oh, I need a coffee. I literally woke up, like lived my life and haven't had a coffee and did a workout. Ah, that was really bright. I like came into the sun, oh no. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me, show me. Right, okay, first things first. Tesco is really full. A lot of people might look at me funny right now. Number two, don't come shopping in a crop top and shorts. Because you will look naked and you will look like a thought. But we're just going to power through. Um, so the first thing I'm going to buy is not to do with food. And don't worry, I'm going to be self-controlled. I'm not going to go on some crazy one. Um, so, so rude. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna buy some more Tupperware. I have so much Tupperware. But as I said, I'm in this shared accommodation and this lovely new lady has moved in, but she just uses all my Tupperware 
and stores it somewhere else and it's all gone now. <laughs> so I'm just not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna buy some new Tupperware because I'm done. I'm done with the stress. Can you see I'm done with the stress of living in this accommodation? Just gonna buy some more. Okay, what do we need? I'm also gonna get a coffee mug because I bought a really good one recently, but I left it at home and then my dad started using it and I was like, actually, everyone deserves a really good coffee mug. So I'm gonna get two more. I'm gonna get one for me and one for my mum so that we can all be happy and not have, never buy this, guys, never buy it. I might have said this in my other video, but they're so bad. However, one of you guys recommended, um, one of you recommended the Contigo masks, which I actually bought, masks, flasks. I actually bought and they are so, so good. So I'm literally gonna buy two of those. They're a bit more pricey. Ah, crap, that's expensive. But they are really good. And I think my mum will like these colors, actually. My mum will really like these. Okay, so I've got these two and I'm just gonna let my mum choose which one she prefers. And now I'm gonna walk away from the home store before I go crazy and actually do some food shopping. So I'm getting some grapes because it's summer and I love them. And it's just gonna make me so much happier to have some nice grapes that I can snack on. And some blueberries, again, really good snack, which will keep me away from chocolates and other fattening treats. Natural sugar for the win is how I cured almost cured, in the process of curing my sugar addiction. <laughs> Bananas are forever a staple. I use them in pretty much everything and I also eat them as snacks. So I'm gonna get a whole load of these. I love these grains that they do at Tesco. I think they're a really easy way to just kind of throw that into a meal prep. Really easy way to make sure that you're getting a wide range of nutrients. They just have such a wide range of ingredients. So look at that, spiced, cooked spiced millet seeds, butter, beans, red pepper, quinoa, blah, 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 all this other stuff that you wouldn't really be bothered to put in yourself, but it's already in there, so I'll just get that and add that to meal preps as well. And some apples as, you know, more snacks, more sweet treats. I honestly think there's a way of choosing a good apple. If you press it and it crumbles, oh my goodness, lady, stop. If you press it and it like crumbles beneath your hand, then it's not a good apple. Um, I like mine crunchy and sweet. So this one's not crumbling. So I think that's a good bag of apples. All this hot weather has me actually wanting salad. So I'm gonna get some beetroot and some salad leaves and I think I'll get some sweet corn as well and have a salad that I actually enjoy. How exciting you guys, who am I? This is what sunlight does to you. It makes you a better person, a better health eater and a better food blogger. Salads are coming you guys. Remaining on the salad type, I'm gonna get these five bean salads. Don't know what those will taste like, never had them before. And some good old chickpeas which are now kind of my new red kidney beans I go through phases but right now I'm in a chickpea phase moving on to proteins gonna get some fish for the salad I think some prawns might work well as well to be honest they're just so expensive you know what the heck is a seafood stick what is that then some chicken mini fillets as well for like meal prep slash salad protein sauce might need to get two of those it's quite small do, do, do. as always looking for the one which goes off latest so 13th may v 11th may another great trusted protein source my 0% fat greek style natural yogurt so cheap as well i mean like 85p winning <laughs> next i'm gonna get my favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream because it's two for six pounds and literally what is the point in summer if you can't eat your favorite ice creams so I've tried this flavor before love it haven't tried this one before I will have to let you know so yeah I'm getting those hopefully I won't eat them all at once hopefully I'll be sensible we shall see but you know what what is summer for if not eating ice cream and not feeling guilty and I don't want the protein ice cream I want that ice cream even though I'm low-key lactose intolerant what am i doing right now this is massively taking a turn and um, i'm also getting some recorder leg because <laughs> some drinks in the sun are lush and this is my favorite these aren't my favorite flavors but it's all that's left like i feel like everyone's having the same idea whenever the sun comes out literally all of the beer cider and mini barbecues just kind of disappear from shops oh and some chewing gum because you gotta have that minty fresh breath and i've just run out in my car so yeah my go-to, my love, my lactose-free milk, always.
always lactose free. And I got these because I'm really hungry right now, so I want to eat those straight away. <laughs> okay guys, so that's my food shop pretty much done, I think. Probably not the healthiest one I've shown you guys, but I mean, that's kind of honest. I do eat like Ben and Jerry's and ice cream and stuff every now and then. Um, and especially in this weather. And I do drink alcohol, just not that much. Um, so yeah, I was going to say it's all about balance, but... I mean, I think there is a time when you have to just completely cut that stuff. Not completely cut it out, but you do have to just be really strict with yourself and say, no, I have goals, I'm not going to have that stuff. But I'm not at that point right now. Right now, I'm kind of just maintaining and living and enjoying and still trying to eat healthily and look after my body without hating my life. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!